Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another project which is called online fetch and store and uh, let's uh, we'll see the complete uh, flow of the project uh, and before this if we talk about the technologies like we are using the JSPN servlet following the MVC model and to manage the jar files we are using the Maven tool so let's run the project and see the complete functionality how this is working so it's, we are deploying the project on the Tomcat server, Tomcat version 8.5. So let's run the project. So I click on the server. So it's already logged out because I've, I've already run the project on my machine. So the session is enabled. So we talk about the roles in the application. So just switch to the database. As we are using the MySQL database in the backend. So there are tables like book clothes, cards categories clothes and users so if we talk about this user table inside this user table there are two roles the one is admin and the second one is for user so if the role id will if if the role id is one then it's admin user if the role id is two then it's a customer user so let's and let's log in with admin first so i'm gonna log in with admin and the password id password for the admin admin and one three so I'm gonna sign in with this and there is a one record right now so these are the main functionalities of the admin admin can add a category like if admin want to get a category like I want to add a category like uh, we can say set top here And inside this top bear, <coughs> if I want to add an image, uh, I can add an image also. Over from can I add an image? image? Okay, these are the some sample images we have. So image, and click on the description. Click on the save button. We save the category successfully. If you see the category list, you can see the new category is available here. If you want to edit the category, to add a category, we need to add an image also here. So it's, it's okay. Now it will work fine. So see the category is edited. If you want to remove some category, you can click on the cross button. You can remove the category from here. Category list. Inside the category list, you can check the category is add clothes if you want to add a cloth inside any category like currently the all the newly added category list will display here we have removed that newly category so it will uh, showing only old so in this category we are category we are going to enter a cloth and cloth name is like uh, top or somewhere the price you need to enter like price i'm going to enter is 3000 something uh, select the image. I'm going to select the same image or this image. And here is the description. When you click on the save, it has saved successfully. If you want to see the cloth list, you can see the newly added cloth is here. And this one top up. So you can also perform the same activity like edit, cross, and delete or previous and next. And inside the books list, till now the two customer, this customer, uh, which is the history of all the customers which is booked the or ordered the top from your shop. So this is the user which is um, booked the particular amount, the particular uh, years. Like similarly, let's switch. Uh, similarly, let's switch to the. Let's switch to the user account so just i'm gonna log out from the admin site and going to register going to log in as a uh, users customers so i can register i can uh, register with a new customer like uh, user new or i can repeat the same string here also for an email id user new at the gmail.com and the password will be asd at the rate 23 or asd at the rate 23 you can keep any password with a combination like demo at the rate 123 it will be combination of some digit character or the special character in the digit and alphabetic <coughs> you want to select date of birth so you can select the format of the date of birth will be like this mm 
sorry <coughs> dd mm and yyy and you need to use the slice between them you can select the gender and select the mobile number check yeah registered successfully the so user was now <coughs> now switch to the sign in and uh, the user was i guess New user at the gmail.com and the password was sorry and the password was sd at the rate one two three now i'm gonna sign in this one. so you can see the category list is here <coughs> if i can select the category there are five dresses in the same category and if i'm gonna book this Okay, if I want to uh, book this image and so click on the, this and click on the save amount like uh, the amount will calculate according to the quantity and I need I can add a small or sizes and I can enter the email ID here so send my email ID I'm gonna use user new at the red gmail.com the pin code is one two three four five landmark and the addresses i click on the confirm payment it will ask me about the payment card details so this is the dummy detail and the card holder name just like copy trail and the my enter the month mm so zero nine enter the year 2020 CCV123 okay by man. So I already stopped this successfully. You can check the shop list. All the shop will display booked the cloth. So newly top which is your adder. It's displaying the order list. So if I'm gonna log in it from the admin again, when I'm gonna log in this by the admin user and click on the sign in and check the order list, book list, the new entry is here. So this is the complete flow of the application. <coughs> and uh, if you want the source code of the project, you can check the description in the link. Uh, description link in the description. You can just switch on the link and go through with the complete detail pricing of the project. So we'll provide the complete config from our side. And uh, <coughs> thank you so much for watching. If you